Okay guys, this is Tails. I've been running Tails on my new ThinkPad for the last week since, or the last couple days actually, I've only had it about 2-3 days. And I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So when you, all you have to do is download it from the website, check the integrity. I'm going to be doing a separate video on that, on how to check the checksum hash and to also check third party sources if you get them so you can verify that that checksum is indeed matching across the board then once you do that you just flash it to a USB disk as I have right here coming out here and I'm gonna actually pull that out in a moment if anytime this is a great anonymous or journalist operating system activist human rights activist operating system because it doesn't use your hard drive it runs completely off your memory and if you ever need to if you pull this USB out that very moment it's going to wipe all of the memory and all of the history of that operating system I'm actually about to install it as persistence that's optional most people just run it off the USB and then all they have to do is plug it in make sure your BIOS boot setup it has the USB to boot at the top of the priority list and there you go you've got a great anonymous operating system to work with um, they've added some new documentation as you can see here is tails this is you using tails then you go through the entry guard it all runs everything through the Tor network so in addition to not even using a hard drive you don't even need a hard drive attached to the computer you also are connecting everything through the Tor network it forces everything through the Tor network you can also take a look at the circuits and check what you're actually using as Tor nodes so you can see the whole list of all the circuits you've built and the ones that it's working on so for applications you go down here it comes with a several great applications including for journalists whistleblowers there's things like onion share there's ways whisper back error reporting you can anonymously report bugs and um, of course you have Tor browser and I'm going to be configuring and installing it as a persistent which means I'll be able to use the storage and change add programs customize it to my exact needs plus encrypt the disk on boot but you don't have to do that you can simply run it as a um, anonymous USB where it doesn't store anything it's up to you you can even use a separate SD card or other storage to do all of your storage needs so there's that as an option as well there's also a metadata um, basically obfuscator so if you want to use that that also comes available on tails and so that's tails wanted to show you guys it and it's a great option. I'm going to be doing more videos with Tails in the future. This is an introduction video. And before I do the persistence install, I wanted to introduce it to you guys. So I, I hope you guys found this helpful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate pulling out the USB and showing you how it wipes the memory. So you don't have to shut it down. Say you're a journalist in a dangerous area. Um, you don't have, you know, you can't take the risk of whatever your work being discovered, then simply pull out the USB at any time and watch what happens. As you can see, it's gone. The memory's wiped, everything's gone, no history. So that's what I got today, guys. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with RTP's Tech Tips.